Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I apologize, this ain't the normal way I do videos, but sometimes it's easier just to grab a tripod of some sort and just shoot the video with the, without moving all this equipment. So today's video is I am testing a TOT prototype plug and play, does not use a computer, does not use a Raspberry Pi. Uh, you plug it into the DB9, you plug in the uh, cables, and there'll be screw driver adjustments for the time. And I'm going to explain here what I mean. But for those of you who may be new to this video or new to my YouTube channel, I design and build interface boards for many different types of repeaters. Whether it's a uh, GMRS, business band, ham band, whichever one, whichever band you need it for. Uh, in this particular video, and I've looked high and low in the software for the Redivus and the Midland, and I do not see any configuration for a TOT timer. Now, what I mean by software, I mean the software that you get with the, with the repeater that you can for programming the frequencies and um, what channels are what. So, and I maybe I missed it. If someone out there knows of a secret, Maybe I'm just blind. Please post in the comments. But I could not find whether it's the Redivus or the Midland. There is no uh, settings for a TOT timer. Now you probably what what is a TOT timer? Well, most radios, even my handheld here, has it inside of it. And what it does is it prevents the radio from being keyed up for an extended period of time. So and you can adjust that time. Uh, I believe. Mine goes from either, I don't know, 30 seconds up to five minutes or something. I'm, I don't remember the, what this radio does. So that's kind of a nice feature to have because if this re something happens or somebody's keying up, whether they're doing it knowingly or sitting on a microphone in a car and it's keying up a repeater, it will stay this repeater. And what I mean by this repeater, this interface board will be for the Redivus RT97S or the Midland MXR10 um, two-way radio repeaters. You plug it into the side of the, and those repeaters have a DB9, and you plug it into there, on the side there, and then whatever power supply you're gonna be using with that repeater, when you get your repeater, it comes with the wall AC one here, and it has this connector that plugs into the power. You would plug either this one into the interface board, or the 12 volt one, which I have right there. That's what I'm using now. If you plug and play, you plug that in, you plug in which power you want to use, AC or a cigarette lighter, and, and then there'd be another cable coming off that would plug into the repeater. Now, this will literally shut down the repeater when the time is up. So what I have here is, I have it, and I'm also gonna add, at least the plan is, is a straight through. You can see here, I have another connector. I want it so that if you want to plug in a microphone, you can. If you want to plug in another interface board like I have down here, you can. So that is the plan. Now, the pro, this is a prototype. This is bigger than what I'm hoping it will be, okay? Um, so that's this is the prototype. Um, also, too, I'm going to add, and I haven't done it yet, I'm going to try to add a tone. Um, so when a repeater comes back online, it will transmit a tone to a rate to the radios to let you know it's back online maybe it'll be a beep um, or something to that effect now for today's video I'm just testing the timer functions I don't have the tone done I don't have the straight through done I want to test the timer functions before I worry about spending more time on the other two functions so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna key this up and when I key this up, you're going to see a red light on that board blink. And I'm going to turn the light off here so you can see it. And you can see the, the, the display of the repeater. So let me turn the light off here. Okay. There's a the display of the repeater. My handheld, when I key this up, you'll see a red light. When you unkey it, the light goes off. The timer shuts off and resets. You turn out your key it up. And then when you're done, you know, just unkey it, and that timer stops, okay? Now, what I have here is, like I said, this will be adjustable on the on the final product 
there'll be a uh, you have to use a screwdriver be two adjustments one is the TOT how much time do you want it with a radio key up before it shuts off in this case I have it set for two minutes with this radio or any radio mobile or not when it's uh, hooked to the uh, repeater when it's keyed up for two more than two minutes whether you're talking whether you're dead keying it does not matter it's gonna shut this repeater down when it shuts down it's gonna wait five minutes when I have it adjusted to again there'll be screw adjustments you can kind of see them there uh, so you can set that from you know two or three minutes up to ten minutes approximately ten minutes I got it set for about five to six minutes I have the TOT set for uh, two minutes so here's what we're gonna do and that will automatically do all this so I'm going to key this up we're gonna turn the light off and now as long as I stay keyed up whether you're talking whether the microphones being sit on or somebody's dead keying or whatever the case may be as long as I don't let go it's keeping time and how long it's been keyed up when the time is up you're gonna see the light flashing now flash faster it will shut off and another light will come on and then you're gonna see the power get interrupted you'll see the display here will not have any power you can see it it's lit up now because it's obviously on so uh, that's what's going to happen here then about five to six minutes I don't know if I'll wait that long in this video but five to six minutes it will turn back on by itself and it's ready to go so this is the part I'm testing is the timer function I got to get this working the exact way I want it before I worry about uh, the straight through or the audible tone now the audible tone might just be a beep and what I mean by that is when the repeater turns back on it will send it will transmit a beep to let everybody know the repeaters back online um, so I don't know if you know I haven't worked on that circuit yet we gotta worry about the timer first because the timer don't work well then there's no sense doing anything else so so far it's been working but this like I said this is a prototype and uh, I still got more testing to do now you're probably wondering uh, while I'm on the subject about prototypes what about all the other prototypes that you've made what's the deal what's going on well keep in mind that I have to uh, test them I have to order parts matter of fact I'm waiting for some parts to come in so I can hopefully finish up the other prototypes really soon here and get them into production and get them off the uh, check list there that's what I'm hoping so uh, like I said uh, so be patient with me I'm going to s post a link down up oh, there it goes okay see it's shut off the repeater is off now the repeater is powered off as you can see there is no display it is shut off now it's going to wait about five to six minutes before it turns it back on and that light is fl uh, blinking it'll, it'll blink a little bit faster when it gets ready to, to turn it on um, so you'll see that so while we're kind of waiting I'm going to finish what I was saying um, and a lot of times I have to order parts for these prototypes I may change an idea I may um, come up with a better idea I, I maybe I want to add a function so be please be patient uh, with me I'm, I'm doing as fast as I can but just hang in there we'll, we'll get them we'll get them done like my wireless repeater ID that works with any repeater uh, my weather alerts um, all that and I'm gonna post a link in the description below if you're interested in this prototype that I'm working on now or my any other prototypes go to my store you can sign up to get notified when it becomes available please do that because if I don't get enough people wanting this I don't go forward because why you know do all this and not have no one that really wants it as you see with some of my other videos I've done months ago some of those prototypes did not come to light because there was not enough interest on them and if you want to know which prototypes are back you know on the back burner I'll post a link to my forum that will tell you which ones have been on hold maybe indefinitely unless I get more interest that's just how I'm gonna do it I guess so I'll post that link in the description below along with the link of this 
one that you can sign up to get notified when it becomes available. So it's important, and I don't expect you to, you know, you're buying it for sure. I just want to know if there's interest in it. That's what I want to know. And if you do sign up that way, you will get notified when it becomes available. So it, it does kind of two things. It lets me know if there's people interested, or and it will let you know when it does become available. You know, you're you're not required to buy it. So I just want to be clear about that. So um, I'm waiting for this to come back on. So I'm you know I'm trying to mention all the uh, points here uh, before I forget. Um, but it's shut off. There is no power to that repeater. It shuts off. Now the beauty of this is you can put this. Uh, let's say you have a, a mountain and it's really tough to get to, and you're afraid if you put the Redivis model. And like I said, this will work with the Redivis RT97S or the Midland MXR. Those two repeaters have a DB9 port on the side, and that's what's needed for this interface board. And like I said, I'm hoping to have a straight through so you can plug in other interface boards uh, and I'm hoping to add a audible tone that will be transmitted over the radio when it powers back up. What I mean by powers back up like in this case when it turns back on I'm hoping to have a tone of some sort when it turns on it will wait a little bit then transmit a tone to let you know it's back up and running. So but I ain't gonna worry about that circuitry until I get this timer one working good. So and like I said it'll be adjustable with a small screwdriver. It's gonna be really easy there's no Raspberry Pi on this. There is no Vox. There is no computer. It's plug and play. It's going to be simple. That's what the plan is. Um, and of course, as I do videos, I will uh, show you more about it as I go uh, through this. Unless I don't get a lot of interest, then I do not keep continuing it. So sign up to get notified that's very important for many reasons so i don't know i don't have a stopwatch i guess i should have, you know i should have brought one with but it is what it is um let's just be patient let's wait this out i might as well we came this far uh you know we might as well uh, wait this out and uh you can see and, and and i don't remember if i have it on five minutes or six minutes <laughs> think I remember that but I don't um, so it, like I said it's really simple to do this you know to adjust this up a little screwdriver a couple minutes you can set it I'm thinking to have the TOT part of it be one to five minutes radio key up and then the wait time or off time will be anywhere from maybe two minutes to ten minutes uh, or approximately I should say so that's what I'm hoping um, that I'm going to do uh, on this so well you know we'll see as I do this like I said a lot of things change and that's one thing you guys don't see behind the scenes I'm, I made this you'll see this video now but three days later I may change this for something else to, to make it even better to make it uh, maybe more options and that's the stuff you don't see uh, off camera and then I end up rebuilding the whole prototype I've done that many, many times. No one, you know, no one really knows that. I don't make videos. So there it is. It's back on. So there you go. So you can actually play this video, and you can, you know, and you can see yourself how long I have it set to for it to be off. Now you see the light came back on. The repeater's back online, uh, and now we're waiting for another key up. So now, if I take a radio and I key up, we're back to. We're working. So, yeah, so that's the beauty of this TOT interface board. So, there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you. Oh, and I forgot about Bob. Bob thanks you too. Have yourself a good day.